What is up everyone? My name is Julia and this is my 75 day hard. To start, let me go over what the 75 day hard is. I decided to tweak it just a little bit because I think that workout routine should be a little bit different for each person, how their body works, how their mind works, and that's what I did. The challenge consists of reading a book 10 pages a day, drinking a gallon of water, working out two times a day, 45 minutes each, one indoors and one outdoors, and following a healthy diet. Every day, I make sure to have half a gallon of water. A full gallon was a little bit too much for me, but I have about three of these, or two of these a day, 32 ounces each, which adds up to 64 ounces, which is half a gallon of water. I find that that's what works better for me, but obviously it varies between each person, how much water they should consume. The challenge does call for a gallon of water, but as I said before, I personally think half a gallon is better just for me. But even drinking 64 ounces a day is a challenge, because on average, I wanna say most people probably have like one water bottle. So being able to complete two of these was definitely a change in my everyday routine. I'm really happy I was able to do it. I've seen benefits from better skincare to also just feeling a lot healthier, less headaches, more energized. And I recommend finding a routine that works for you with how much you should consume of water per day. Working out at the gym has really become a priority for me. It's honestly one of the main points of the challenge. I like to see this not as a challenge, but more of a different way of living my life, changing up my everyday lifestyle. As the challenge says, you should work out twice a day, 45 minutes each, one indoors and outdoors. I believe working out is really able to come in many different ways. I think a way to describe that would be going on for a run outside, maybe even taking a walk, which is what I'm currently doing. I really like to take walks around my university. I go to work and back. That ends up being close to about two miles a day, honestly. And I think that's a great way to get in the exercise and the physical activity, even if it's not physically lifting weights outside or doing something else or even counting it for the 45 minutes. But I think being able to put yourself outside, making sure you get fresh air is essential for anybody, especially if you're in college and you're stuck inside all day. Getting outside is sometimes the major relief that we all need. That's something that I tend to prioritize is being able to even get outside. If people don't see that as exercise or as a workout, there's really no problems with that. But just going for a walk or taking a quick run, I think is beneficial to everyone. It puts your mind in a new headspace. That's part of changing your mentality, changing your lifestyle, making it a little bit different from your average day to day, and just prioritizing your mental health and physical well being, which I think is essential for the outdoors to come into play with that. To go over the effects of social media both positive and negative focus on was body positivity and i think that social media and social media influencers do play a big role in how we perceive ourselves and others um everyone's only going to be posting the good on social media i mean i believe that i only do that but is my life perfect is anyone's life perfect probably not but who's posting anything about that so it becomes hard to find the difference between what's real what's not how much is this actually someone's life? How much is it not? I mean, you wish everyone the best, of course, but it's sometimes, hey, like you get jealousy. What, what are they doing that I could be doing as well? Uh, there was a few studies that showed social networking sites, so such as Instagram, Facebook, t TikTok, that show signs of depression or anxiety, things like that. Uh, there is a lot of things that I think people internalize that we may not talk about as much i think over the last few years we do discuss it a lot more and i think that's good because it does show hey you're not the only person thinking it i was looking at into research on that it showed that not only can it be mentally intense 
as one can assume, but it can also be physically intense. And yeah, I think some days I could have used a rest day, <laughs> but I kept pushing and I wanted to see how much I could do. But I think everything in moderation, that's what I kind of grew up learning. Even the, the website, if you go on it, it says, this isn't a challenge. No, it's kind of a challenge. <laughs> it was definitely hard. I mean, you're pushing yourself. You're changing the way that you live your everyday lifestyle. That's me. That's the challenge. Getting out of your routine of what you normally do and totally changing into a new routine, that's that's hard. I don't think many people could do that. I know I struggled some days with it. Even for a week long, I might have struggled with it. But I would say that if you were looking into doing this, take my advice, change it up a little bit. Still look at it at the 75 day hard, but follow what's right for you. Finding other alternatives, putting your mind towards things that you maybe weren't able to do, but now can do, I think that's that's a lot better of an idea to me. And I think that's even a harder challenge, finally doing something that you've been dying to do and haven't been able to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really love making it. I hope to honestly make more videos soon. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I also put a link to my website down below and a link to the 75 day hard. Make sure to connect with me on all social medias, LinkedIn, whatever it is. I'd love to hear your experiences, your feedback, and I hope to do this again soon. Peace.